Yo, I be a itch at the man name get. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up, my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. And my people, hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Remember, me, they come and me tell you, they say, nobody no soon left about there and they think a joke. Me, I make the month not even start good and too bad fly. Don't get me wrong, bad can fly anytime. But these gunmen are not behaving themselves. And when I tell the people, them say they need to get slapped with some people run come on a ball because some of them are family. I don't know if you go on with them, you know. But when I deal with the news before I reach back from the ends there, the nurse assistant, yes, the nurse assistant who is accused of sexually assaulting a teen patient at the medical facility and over has been charged with indecent assault. Damien Big B, yes. 45 year old Damien Big B. So anybody don't know how Damien Big B look, can go look for him on the social media platform. Them him over the man. Him over the big 45 year old Damien Big B is alleged to have sexually assaulted a 15 year old girl. Him could have been the local girl father, you know. And them thing them tell him a grave who was admitted at the facility for treatment on Friday, May 21st. The police said the girl first reported the matter to her parents and other workers. Big B was arrested on Monday, May 24th, and charged a week later. Oh, Big B probably delete all them Facebook profile and them something about people don't need to worry. And over people are phone the time. Come here, rabbit. Take on yourself down to the courthouse today, which is June 1st, because him scheduled to appear down there. And the people them want to see him. The people them want to see him. Every man who does come out of one vehicle, take them picture. Yes, man, no matter make them throw nothing over their head. So they know them style with him, good to go so boom, and have a look at big dirty white towel that throw over their head for hide him face. Right now, the curse in the take over Jamaica, you see what Harris makes up. Just trust me, they're going to be a part of it. Six persons were arrested during an operation at Sad Farm Boulevard in St. James was charged with breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act on Monday. Charged the position of ganja, dealing in ganja and cultivating ganja, 55-year-old Ransford Galloway, 43-year-old Gary Lewis, 22-year-old Devon Watson, 31-year-old Wayne Pinnock, 32-year-old Lance Foreman, and 30-year-old, guess what? Kirsty Nile, Kadeen Benjamin, all of St. James. The start stemmed from a 12-hour operation by the narcotics police, which began at about 2.30 p.m. last Thursday. And a safe incident, I'm telling you about on the weekend, you know, yes, where them find the hydraulic greenhouse inside of the house, and yeah, and a one holy loose bag again, trying to book it and them something like the fatty veil. So now the police, them are going to set the 400 pound of them seas, a cost approximately $1.8 million. Yeah, man. So you see them six ganja farmers there, they are going to go St. James Court Friday. So who want know them, can go and go look for them. Okay? The youth are making news so often. And the police, they must stop him away yet. St. Catherine Labour, 27 year old, Maurice Campbell, who is behind bars, has been charged for allegedly shooting at the cops last year, July. Hold on now. You shoot off a police. And you just stay behind bars and eat meals scratch free, so that makes no sense. Camp who surrendered to the police on May 13 after being listed as wanted in a case of shooting was charged with shooting with intent on Monday. In the case, Campbell, otherwise called Hussein, is being accused of opening fire at the police team on Portland Avenue in Kingston 11 on Monday, July 21st, 2020. He fled before being apprehended. The ultimate police previously charged Campbell with murder and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition in connection with the shooting death of 65 year old Matthew Ranklin otherwise called George not Georgie Podge him just named George the police say Ranklin was attacked in his community on Ferguson Drive in Kingston 11 at about 2.45 a.m. on Sunday January 24th 2021 after curfew hours and you not tell me say this boy you're still alive eh we so now we are stuck spears money and care some of them criminal like behind bars forgot to do what no man, one of the police them probably need to tell me in the comment section. What do you carry them behind bars? What do you carry them round if you go do? Hmm? If you go party. 
must not. A JDF soldier is amongst two persons charged after you allegedly held at an illegal party in Rumble, St. Thomas, on Monday night. I'm about to lose him job off a little Tita puller him left in the yard for go by because we know him could afford the high-end liquor. They are charged with breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act, the Noise Abatement Act, and selling alcohol beverage without a license. It is reported that sometime after 9 o'clock, the police went to Rumble, where a legal party was in session. The police said more than 100 persons were in attendance. Dance. The patient ran when they saw the police. I'll not feel the police shoot after them. And I'm a machine band them, yeah, man. Most time I see them run, I machine them up. A gunman and I run down, man. Why a taxi driver alone you can't take set pants and run them down? Why they not run down the people them in their party? People them not here. The people them not here. Some of them need to start feel. Yes, I'll be honest with you. The soldier who is said to be the promoter was L along with another man who was selling the alcoholic beverage at a makeshift bar. The music equipment and the alcohol beverage were sweet. Police them have a fun time of drink some of that. I'm telling you the truth because they're not that shit. Man. The men were taken to the Yalas police station where they were charged. They were later offered bail in the sum of $100,000. The men are scheduled to appear in the St. Thomas Parish Court on June 25th. I tell you something. Most of these police and soldiers keep the biggest party and they're not here. You understand? And the people who okay, can't hear must feel. Like how you have said, Thomas, we're going to look up there for the Jasmine Dean there. The two men held in connection with the disappearance of Jasmine Dean will not be charged for murder. The DPP has ruled that the police need to do further investigation. As such, the police cannot proceed with murder charges. The two suspects are 40-year-old Tamar Henry of Bull Basin Andrew and 36-year-old Gregor Wright. Both men were charged last year after being found in possession of items belonging to the 22-year-old Dean. After being missing for a year, Dean is presumed dead by the police. A nationwide news exclusive documentary, Missing Without a Trace, the Jasmine Dean story, had prompted the police to do further investigations. But head of the Jamaica Constabular Forces of Crime Portfolio, Fitz Bailey, says the additional inquiries were fruitless. Like I've been saying from the start, I'm not changing my talk. If Jasmine Dean was a part of the uptown fraternity, this case would have been different. I'm telling you the truth. This case would have been different. They would have find people out there, people that get slapped with. Ah, they would have find Jasmine Dean body. I tell you the people. Remember when the whole thing started, us, Jasmine Dean fell alone and up and down and I say, yo, you want to find him daughter and them things down the news, them BLE and game coverage, you know. We don't forget all of that. We don't forget. That's why we're there for telling the war one. The police them never show the interest. I'm the only for Jamaica and them looking things that they used to catch phone teeth on them people. Eh. Out them could the track the camera Jasmine Dean going and all of them something then nothing see they know nobody not charge the case just done right that's so right and I'm a piece sweep John was time about condolences to Jasmine Dean family again another one buys the dust yo a beat shut the money and get to blow Nobody run and say me a good no wrong information, so me get this thing clear. Even though the sun bites, another one bite, they just have two of them get slapped. Oh, yes, a tear out paper, yeah, yeah, like drop out and them something they can't come from. Ask the picture and look at video because we got them, we got it for you all. So make sure you no know, food digest when not eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and then you say, Yo. Said, oh, it's in another group. They might say, for the door, in another group, and I said, them thing are late. But people, but I see us now. No. Look how the knock to see nobody come out, come black the road. Because criminal, no criminal, you know, when criminal gets slapped, because you're the personnel. See, a beer head shot, them get, and yes, she's scarred. But we have one little brother in the background and ask if them dead. They know, say, how the media make when people dead. People are going to ask if them dead, because they want to carry them gospel to pronounce them. No, 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 no. You know, see, a dead man that then take up off for the ground. So, all the top one on it, the on the paper, link on the video. Anybody know around Panda side, they know, say, a whole heap of vehicle now, but they traverse them ends there. After work, so right after work, all of this happen, people. I'm here telling you, no. Marry the pangolin and a bag of sitting. The man they made back, lick caught. When you come to Mark Street, I will show you what I go on. But remember, every day above ground is a blessing. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend, come and check us out, alright?